time for a new speaker build and this time I got some uh, reclaimed walnut and these are turning blocks they are supposed to be put on a lathe and turn but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plane them and then I'll get them all nice and square and cleaned up then I'm gonna cut them into strips like the other ones that I've done and we will build uh, some JBL 2500 speakers out of them but the difference is these are a little bit longer than the typical ones I get they're 12 and a half inches long the typical ones these are 16 so I'm going to be able to make the speakers a little bit taller and I'm going to go I think with about a 15 inch speaker it will make the front a little bit longer obviously and I may put the vent tube in the front so I'm going to play around with that design and for reference, I am going to put up a picture of the standard JBL 2500 and uh, you'll see what I'm going to do to that later on in the video. For whatever reason, when I got the wood, they put wax on the end of it. So now I am taking my torch. I'm going to do this one handed here and melting it off before I run it through the planer because because it was gumming up the planer. So once I've done that, then I'm gonna put these through the planer and you'll see how it goes from this rough to something really dramatically beautiful. All right, you can see the wax has now been melted off. And then when I run that through the planer, that uh, top uh, layer that got burnt will be completely gone and we'll have some really nice looking walnuts when it's all done. All right, all planed up. Looks really nice. Wood's nice and dark brown. I don't know if that's coming out on the uh, video, but looks really good. Next step is to cut this in strips because it's thicker than I need. So what I'll do is I usually have it about um, a little over three quarters of an inch because the walls of the speakers are going to be three quarters of an inch. So I'll cut about uh, just under an inch this way then I'll flip it on its side and then I'll glue pieces together so I'll get something that's just slightly over three quarters of an inch and then when I plane it to be flat it'll get it down to three quarters of an inch and now I'm looking at this I'm hoping I have enough because I'm only going to do the sides in the back uh, the front's going to be made out of reclaimed bourbon barrels because I made a cutting board recently out of that the wood looks so amazing, I said I want to show that off on a speaker. So here we are, we'll cut these things up and then get them all glued together. You notice here there's a different change here in this color. What I'm going to try and do is cut it so that I only have this really nice walnut, the darker color. This is the sapwood, so the sapwood's a lighter color. So we'll cut it in a way that will expose more of the dark wood and hide the sap wood because we'd like an, a, a uniform looking piece of uh, wood when it's done. All right, after a couple seconds here on the table saw, I cut this up and I have now four pieces. If I flip it over, there's that sap wood. And I pretty much got it completely hid now. I don't think these have any. Uh, there's a little bit of sapwood there too. But by cutting it that way, I was able to hide the sapwood. And I got four pieces of beautiful looking walnut. All right, so next up is gluing. So I match up the pieces that I want and I put them in here and we will just clamp them really tight, glue them up, and then um, we'll put a whole, well, I think I need to put for the frame of this, I need two for the side and then I'm going to make a third one that will be the top and the bottom because I'll just cut that in half and then I'll need one for the back side as well. And then the front's going to be made out of reclaimed bourbon barrels and uh, I'll show you that process in a little bit. It's a little bit different than what I've been doing. So let's get this thing glued up and ready to go. So end up just putting them on the side and I've got my little glue 
spout here. I'll run this up and down and get a lot of glue on there. And once it's on there, I'll get the brush and we'll get that all smoothed out. And we'll flip it on its side. And we'll get this all done and then we'll get it all clamped up and just let it sit there and dry. So I got all the pieces in there and I'm gonna crank this tight and you're gonna see the glue just kind of squeeze out. And what you want is that to happen, then you know You've got a solid connection. Then when it's all done, I've got another piece that I did. It looks like this. So this is what I'll run through the planer and get nice and smooth. So after I build a whole bunch of these, I'll run these through the planer and get the pieces for the panels. As I said, I'm going to make the front of the speaker out of old barrel staves from Whiskey Barrels. I bought 10 of these and I asked for the extra long ones. Here you can see on the inside, that's all charred. Bourbon needs to be in oak casks uh, that are uh, first time used and the inside needs to be charred, which is what you're seeing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this part off on both sides. That's where the top and the bottom of the barrel was. Then I'm gonna measure out, cause you can see it's got a big curve in it. And obviously you can't make a speaker out of that. So what I'm gonna do is after I trim that piece off here, I'll measure out like 16 inches and I'll cut. And it'll be, at that point, it'll be a lot uh, less of a curve. And I can easily run that through the planer and get these nice and straight. So once I've done that, then I'm gonna, with a, Table saw, I'll cut just like I did the other ones. I'll cut strips, put them on their side and uh, glue them together and make the front panels. I made a cutting board out of this recently and it turned out really great and you could smell the whiskey, but after I get done with all the oil and that kind of thing, you won't be able to smell the whiskey anymore, but at least while I'm making this, it'll smell good. And you can see the color is just gonna be incredible once you get that, uh, on the front of the um, of the speakers. The, it does something to the oak that just looks phenomenal. So let's get to work. All right, my chop saw made quick work of this. And you can see now it's a little bit straighter, but I'm still gonna lose a lot of wood to the planer. And some of these pieces are, are tapered. So I'm gonna also lose uh, some wood. I'm not gonna be able to get full three quarter inch cuts. And those pieces won't go to waste. They'll find their way into a cutting board. And the cutoff pieces, there's a whole bunch more than this, are gonna end up going into my smoker box and uh, we'll add a nice oaky char flavor to any of my barbecues. So nothing goes to waste here, especially wood like this. Let's see what it looks like now. We're gonna run this through the planer and you're gonna see a dramatic change.
see the before and after. You can see now it's nice and straight. That was the inside, the charred side. And you can see it is much thinner now because I had to lose a lot of the material to get it flat. So it means each strip will, will um, not take up as much space. So sometimes I wonder if I should just use it like that, but it's a lot stronger if I use it like that. So I think I'm still gonna do that. It's gonna use a lot of the wood to get there. I got a good amount. That should get me the, I believe it's about eight inches across I need. So if this is about a half an inch, I'm gonna need 16 per front side. So I got a lot of planing to do and it just, look how beautiful that is. All right, let me get to it. All right, next step, these are the front panels. This is what used to be a barrel stave. And let's see if I can make this visible. On the end, uh, you can't see, but it tapers in. So we have to deal with that. And what we do is on the table saw, we cut that off. That was cut off of the ends. Now we've got ourselves a nicely milled piece of oak that is square on all four sides. I cut those into strips and we're gonna glue these together. The red pieces you see in there is Paduk. And I always do that in my, on my uh, speakers. Kind of looks like a surfboard. They are built in California after all. And these end pieces, they're gonna go in my smoker box tonight. I'm making some tri-tip. So nothing goes to waste. All right, so this is all, how I make my panels. All the pieces are glued together and then they're clamped and they say like this and cure and they're, it's a very strong joint. And over here, this is the front panel and you can see what it looks like. Then I run it through the planer and it looks all nice and smooth. And you can see the difference in thickness. I made the, um, about an inch thick and then I planed it down to three quarters. Then these will be cut and sized and then I'll put it together. So this is the pretty much the end of it. I'll show you a picture of everything all planed and you can see how many panels I have to make this thing. Ends up being about, uh, let's see, four, six per, five of them per uh, speaker because the, I use one of them for top and bottom. I cut it in half. So end up having to do 10 of these panels. So there's a lot of gluing and a lot of patience required, but it turns out pretty nice. So after I get done with the gluing and the planing and the cutting to size, you are left with a pile of wood that looks like this. So then uh, I'll start the gluing process and I'm going to end the video here for part one. Part two will be when I start putting everything together. But I just also wanted to say along the way that I decided I'm going to make this a powered speaker with Bluetooth. And the way I came upon that was a bit of an accident. Uh, the speakers you see here are in my garage and sometimes I play them loud. And the speaker on the left that is the powered part of the speaker blue and i was thinking okay i need to go find a replacement woofer for this so i went on ebay and i said let me see if i can just find a cheap one and what i found was an a2 plus which is this is what you're looking at here the a2 plus power plate includes bluetooth and it has bluetooth with apt x so i decided to pull that out and then the speaker the blue was the um the power the power module so i pulled out the power module of that and i put in put that into the speaker that held this and then i put it back up where you saw earlier and this is going to go into the back of the speakers that i'm building now so we're going to have powered speakers and this here is the bluetooth antenna and that's the circuit board for that and you can see the amplifier so this is Audio Engine A2 Plus. It's a really good speaker system. I got this for $85, I wanna say, and then I had to buy, it didn't have a power module, so I bought that for another $25 from Audio Engine. So you're looking at a hundred and some dollars to add aptX Bluetooth capability and fix the speakers that I had blown. It's win-win for everybody.
So stick around for part two. <laughs>